So now here you have to find the maximum value and here you have to find the minimax value. So here we have intersected point, right? So this is called as intersected point. So here which of the following two person game are optimal strategy. So again I will use the same method. This maximum value and minimax value comes under one intersected common point called as intersected point. Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyash from First Grade College, Mysore. In my previous session, I have discussed about saddle point, minimax and maximum principle, right? So today I will discuss the problems on saddle point. What is saddle point? If the minimax and maximum value is equal, then it has a saddle point. So let us understand with an example problem. So first problem, find saddle point and value of the game. So here we have to find the saddle point also value of the game. We have one matrix representation, this three cross three matrix. So here we have player A and player B, A1, A2, A3 and B1, B2, B3 in column. What is the first step? So for finding the saddle point, we have to find the row minima and column maxima, column maxima. Keep in mind, this is row minima and column maxima. Don't get confused. First, you have to find the least value in every row. So in first row, the least value is 2, right? And in second row, the least value is 5. In third row, the least value is 0. So row minima is finished. So next is column maxima. Here you have to find the highest value in each column. We have three columns. In first column, the highest value is 15, right? And in second column, the highest value is 5. And in third column, the highest value is 7. We got 15, 5 and 7 in row minima 2, 5 and 0. So now here you have to find the maximum value and here you have to find the minimax value. So here among these three values, the highest value is 5. And in call max, the least value is 5. So now it is maximin and this is minimax. Maximin and minimax. So what is the meaning of this maximin and minimax? So here 5 comes under second row, right? So A2. So player A has maximizing the minimum guaranteed gain. And 5 comes under column B2. So this minimax value. Here player B is minimizing the maximum loss. So player A is maximizing the gain and player B is minimizing the loss. Clear? Now you can cross verify whether it is equal or not. Maximin is equal to minimax. Right? So maximin value is 5 and minimax value also 5. So it has a saddle point. It has a saddle point because maximum value is equal to minimax value. If it is equal means it has a saddle point. Clear? And next we have to find the value of the game. So before that, you have to find the optimal strategy for A and optimal strategy for B. So here, maximum comes under second row, that is A2 row. So the optimal strategy, optimal strategy for, for A is equal to A2 and Optimal strategy for B, for B is equal to this minimax value comes under B2 column. So B is equal to B2. So now you have to find the value of the game. 
Here, maximum value and minimax value comes under one intersected point that is phi. So, phi is called as value of the gain. So, this maximum value and minimax value comes under the intersected point called phi. Phi is a value of the gain. So, therefore, value of the gain is equal to phi. So, this is your solution. So, first you have to find the row minima and column maxima. And here you have to find the maximum and minimax. Don't get confused. In row minima, you have to find the maximum value. In column minima, you have to find the minimax value. So, minimax and maximum. If both are equal, it has a saddle point. Otherwise, it is a mixed strategy. So, this is now a pure strategy. It is a pure strategy problem. So, next problem, find saddle point and value of the game. Again, you have to find the saddle point and value of the game. Here, B1, B2, B3, B4, we have four columns and A1, A2, A3, we have three columns, right? So, now first step is row minima. So, find the minimum value in each row. In first row, the least value is 1. And in second row, the least value is 4. And in third row, the least value is 0. Clear? And column maxima. Column maxima is in first column. In first column, the highest value is 5. Because minus is least value. So, 5 is the highest value. And in second column, the highest value is 7 and in third column, the highest value is 4 and in fourth column, highest value is 5. So, now you can find the maximum and minimax value. So, in row min, you can find the maximum value. So, among these three values, the highest value is 4. So, it is called as maximum value. So, player A is maximizing the guaranteed gain. Maximizing the gain and here the least value is minimax value is 4. So, 4 is a minimax value. This is maximum value and this is minimax value. So, player B is minimizing the maximum loss and player A is maximizing the gain. Clear? So, now you can cross verify whether it is equal or not. So, maximum value is equal to minimax value. Right? So, maximum value is 4 is equal to minimax value is also 4. So, both are equal means it has a saddle point. It has a saddle point. Clear? So, it has a saddle point and we will get the value of the gain. So, now the optimal strategy for optimal strategy for game A or player A is equal to, so you can observe this, maximum value 4 comes under second row, right? And minimax value comes under third row. So, the optimal strategy for player A is equal to A2 and optimal strategy for player B is equal to B3. So, 4 comes under B3 and this 4 comes under A2. So, here we have intersected point, right? So, this is called as intersected point. This 4 is an intersected point because this maximum value and minimax value comes under one intersected common point called as intersected point is equal to 4. Therefore, value of the game is equal to 4 value of the game is equal to 4. So, this is your solution. And the next problem, 
find the optimal strategies of the players in the following games. So first step is row minima and column maxima, call max, row min and call max. So first step is in each and every row you have to find the least value. The least value is 20. In second row the least value is 45. In third row the least value is 40. And in column the highest value is 58 and the highest value is 45 and the highest value is 55. So what is the next step? You have to find the maximum value in row minima, minimax value in column max. So here among this maximum value is 45. This is called as maximum value. Maximum value means player A is maximizing the game and in among these column max values the minimum value is 45. This is minimax value. Minimax is equal to 45. Player B is minimizing the maximum loss. So maximum is 45, minimax is 45. So it is equal. If it is equal means 45 is equal to 45. That means minimax is equal to maximum. Both are equal. That means it has a saddle point. It has a saddle point. Now value of the game. So first step is optimal strategy. So optimal strategy for optimal strategy for player A is equal to this 45 comes under A2 row A2. So optimal strategy for player A is equal to A2 and optimal strategy for player B is equal to this 45 comes under B2. So B is equal to B2. Player B is equal to B2. Player A is A2 in optimal strategy. So now value of the game. This maximum value and minimax value comes under one intersected point. This is called as intersected point. So the value of the game is 45. Therefore value of the game is equal to 45. So value of the game is 45. So maximum is 45, minimax is 45. It has a saddle point. And the next problem, fourth one, solve the game whose payoff matrix is given below. We have two players called player A and player B. We have three columns and three rows. It is three cross three matrix. So here you have to find the saddle point and value of the game. The game whose payoff matrix. So this is called as payoff matrix. So we have to find the saddle point and value of the game. So again first step is row minima and the column maxima. So please practice all the problems. So row minima here the least value is 2. Second row the least value is 5. Third row least value is 0. And in column the highest value is 15. And in second column, highest value is 5. In third column, highest value is 7. So what is the next step? So you have to find the maximum value in row minima, minimax value in column minima. So what is the next step? So you have to find the maximum value in row minima, minimax value in column max. So among these values, the highest value is maximum value is 5. This is maximum value. This is maximum value. And among this, the least value is 5. This is minimax value. The minimax value is 5. So now you can cross verify whether it is equal or not. So it is equal because minimax value is equal to maximum value. So 5 equal to 5. If it is equal means what? It has a saddle point. It has a saddle point. So now optimal strategy. Optimal strategy for player A is equal to maximum value comes under player A and minimax value comes under player B. That is A2 and B2. 
ऑप्टिमल स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर प्लेयर ई इज ए टू एंड ऑप्टिमल स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर प्लेयर बी इज बी टू सो नाउ वैल्यू ऑफ द गेम इज द कॉमन इंटरसेक्टेड पॉइंट इज फाइव फॉर मैक्सिम एंड मिनिमैक्स सो द वैल्यू ऑफ द गेम इज फाइव दे फोर वैल्यू ऑफ द गेम इज फाइव सो दिस इज योर सोल्यूशन Dear students, it's very simple concept. This problem is based on pure strategy. Pure strategy. Clear? The next problem here determine which of the following two person zero sum games are optimal strategy. We have two person games. So here we have two games, game one and game two. We have to find out the optimal strategy. So here which of the following two person game are optimal strategy so again i will use the same method for every game so first is row minima and call maxima so here minimum value in each and every row so minimum value is minus 5 minimum value is minus 7 look at this so here we have the minimum value minus 5 and again in second row the minimum value is minus 7 and in column max which is the highest value so here both the values are negative but out of this we have to find the highest value so minus 7 and minus 5 so highest value is minus 5 and among these two value highest value is 2 clear so row minima and column maxima so in row minima we have to find the maximum value which is a maximum value minus 5 and minus 7 so maximum value is minus 5 maximum value is minus 5 so maximum value is minus 5 so player a is maximizing the gain and here the minimax value so we have to find the minimum value so here minimum value is minus 5 this is called as minimax value so player b is minimizing the loss right so minus 5 and minus 5 now we can cross verify whether it is equal or not so maximum value is equal to minimax value right so both the values are equal minus 5 is equal to minus 5 if it is equal means it has a saddle point it has a saddle point and now the optimal strategy for player a and player b so now the optimal strategy for player a is optimal strategy for player a is so this maximum value comes under the first row right so first row is a1 and the optimal strategy for player b is so in column the minimax value comes under first column called b1 so a1 and b1 is optimal strategy so what is the value of the game therefore value of the game is the common point for both minimax and maximum value is minus 5 So minus five is the value of the game. Therefore, optimal strategy is optimal strategy is a one comma b one. So a one and b one are the optimal strategy for first game. So now in the second game we have two rows and two columns. So what is the first step? Row minima and call maxima column maximum value. so in first row the least value is 1 and in second row the least value is minus 3 and in first column the highest value is 4 and in second column the highest value is 1 now you can find the maximum value and minimax value so here the maximum value is 1 maximum value is 1 so it is maximum value so player a is maximizing the gain and here the minimum value among these two value is 1 so it is minimax value so minimax value is 
1. Clear? So, maximum value is 1 and minimax value is also 1. So, it has a saddle point because maximum is equal to minimax. Maximum equal to minimax. So, 1 equals 1. It has a saddle point. So, 1 is a saddle point. So, now optimal strategy for player A and player B. Optimal strategy for player A is equal to so, this maximum value comes under A1, row A1 and optimal strategy for player B is equal to this one comes under B2 column. Therefore, optimal strategy is, optimal strategy is A1, B2 and what is the value of the game? The value of the game is the common point for both maximum and minimax value is 1. So, value of the game is 1. Value of the game is 1. So, optimal strategy is A1 and B2. So, here the optimal strategy is A1 and B1. So, if you get two games also, you can find the saddle point and value of the game. So, I have explained different problems on pure strategy. In my next session, I will discuss some other problems based on mixed strategy. It is very important concept, pure strategy problems and mixed strategy problems. It is very easiest concept. So, in my next session, I will discuss the problems on mixed strategy. Thank you.